a good time tonight, and I hope everybody enjoys themselves, that they uh, make an effort to get to know people they, they haven't met before and to network uh, because that's, you know, in the end it's all, always about relationships and so don't be afraid to approach people. Um, my own experience has been that people, uh, you know, are interested and they'll, uh, they'll give you the time, their time if you, uh, if you ask them for it. Located geographically in the middle of the country, Winnipeg is Manitoba's largest city and serves as its capital as well. Winnipeg is home to approximately 625,000 people. The city can also boast the largest urban Aboriginal population of any major Canadian city in this country. One in ten people in Winnipeg are of Aboriginal descent. With a median age that is ten years younger than that of the general population, the urban Aboriginal population conversely faces higher rates of poverty, unemployment, crime, and relatively low levels of education. However, a bright spot in all of this is that the greatest potential lies in developing the youngest and fastest growing population in this city. It's a challenge that many groups at the Aboriginal Centre of Winnipeg have been meeting for almost 20 years now. Well, we started out, of course, uh, purchasing the, the old uh, Canadian Pacific Railway Station, now called the Aboriginal Centre of Winnipeg, back in, uh, in the early 90s. And uh, that was our first purchase. Uh, since then, we've been uh, adding uh, new assets, uh, of course, with uh, support from our government partners, the federal, provincial, and the city again. In terms of the city, uh, there was a uh, cold storage plant immediately to the east of us, a very large lot, I think uh, over an acre in size. And uh, so in negotiations with them, they we eventually transferred title for that land uh, to, to the uh, Aboriginal Centre. And since then, we've uh, built housing on there, a 22 uh, apartment uh, block, uh, 15 new townhouses now, which are, uh, uh, you know, three and four bedroom, which is, uh, again, tr transitional housing for our students. We've added a daycare further down on Higgins. And now we've just purchased uh, an existing uh, business called Cybertech Industries, which we're turning into a social enterprise. It's uh, recycling uh, electronics products. And, uh, yeah, we're very excited about all that. All that. We've, uh, we've also bought the old auto body shop immediately east of the center, turned that into a state-of-the-art uh, welding training center. Uh, trainees there can get up to 14 different welding tickets. We've also built on the other side of that the aerospace building, which has... Uh, heavy machinery in that for training machinists and gas turbine repair technicians. And that uh, alone, uh, just the equipment in there, I think is valued at over $15 million. Most of these are partnership ventures. Uh, so between CARD and the Aboriginal Centre, uh, in terms of uh, lands and buildings uh, that are acquired, and uh, CARD uh, as the uh, Urban Assets Holder is uh, provided uh, funding every year by the federal government, uh, I think up to $5 million a year, to support the training of Aboriginal people in the city of Winnipeg, and that includes First Nations, Métis, and Inuit people. I came to Winnipeg in uh, 1983, and CARD was uh, then called Native Employment Services, and it was uh, an outreach program with nine employees. I was on that board for 25 years, and I've seen that agency grow from nine employees to over 109 employees, and I'm quite uh, proud to, to say that I was there during that period. And of course, in that time, I think CART averages uh, almost 3,000 uh, clients a year, so just multiply the number of years and you <laughs> see how many people have, uh, have used the services of CART in one way or another. an urban reserve, we're not a First Nation, so we have to pay taxes. Of course, some of that is uh, affected by uh, the fact that we're, we are an educational uh, you know, uh, institution, and so we get some breaks on some of our taxes. But I know uh, even as, as little as five years ago, we estimated we had paid over uh, $1.5 in taxes to the city. 